Welcome back to the KOM Morning News. Couple of special guests in the studio, joined by Mary Laritz and Dr. Tim Dossey of the Kansas Polymer uh, Research Center in Pittsburgh, because you two are uh, putting on, and it, folks, what we're here to do is encouraging everybody to take advantage of the resources that Mary and Dr. Tim have been able to put together specifically for farmers. Uh, and because we may not think of the Kansas Polymer Center being able to help our farmers here in the four states put food on the table each and every day, but Dr. That's exactly what you've come up with a way to do through this concert, through this conference. Well, at least to help. Uh, you know, the big thing around here is we're right in the middle. Most people don't even know we have a polymer research center mm -hmm. here, and we're right in the middle of this agricultural community. We no longer have all the manufacturing and so forth. So we've got to diversify the economy. So a part of that is if we can take products, byproducts, and waste from the ag community, and we can make value-added products from that we all benefit. We, we're mm -hmm. using the resources from the farmers and giving it back to the farmers in there for use in there. So yeah, it's, it's all about getting the farmers and the ranchers and producers in to exchange with the scientists. And I find it interesting because you, you do call it farms. It's farmers accelerating research in, in material sources, correct? Uh, and, and yes, uh, that's exactly what we're after on here is, is for that we can do some great stuff but sometimes we don't really know what the problems are. All of us scientists weren't farmers. That's really interesting you bring that up because Mary, you were talking about from your standpoint dealing with logistical things. And right. I know one of the things the conference tries to conquer are sometimes we encounter daily problems in our lives that we get used to handling because we can't see the trees through the forest. Correct. How, yes. how, do you, how do you kind of have people take a step back and look at the bigger view? Okay, so in, in this case, you know, we have scientists that have never been on a farm. They don't know what the daily challenges are. And then we have farmers and ranchers that, you know, they know their problems and they might have great ideas on how to fix this, but bring it fruition. So this is one way we can bring those two together to combat those, those logistical problems. You know? But the importance is interest and attendance, doctor. That's What's your elevator speech? How do you tell people this is really going to benefit uh, whether they're, fa they're not only their farms, their families? Uh, every, everybody, uh, the community, we, we're dealing with brain drain. Uh, the, the, the people, we have great students at Pittsburgh State University that are graduated and are recruited all over the nation. Mm -hmm. And that's where they go, is all over the nation. We gotta create jobs here for them. Well, a part of this is we're saying, while wow, we got all these resources, there's so much pressure on the fossil fuel industry, the, the petroleum-based industries on there, and we've got all of these resources. We've got the Kansas Polymer Research Center has been doing research on bio-based polymers, polymers, plastics made from plant materials mm -hmm. for over 25 years. Well, many people don't know that we got one of the oldest plastics programs in the nation That's here right. uh, in, in 19. We got a great polymer chemistry programs over a decade old now. We got all the resources. And so now we've got Virginia Tech scientists coming in. We got Arizona State scientists coming in. We got scientists from KU, the uh, extension agent from K-State, all coming together uh, in here to bring the farmers in to teach us what their problems are rather than us reading in a newspaper and saying, well, Trying I think to dissect it, yeah, it that what, way. What is it? here? We want to hear it face to face, back and forth, uh, the exchange. Uh, Mary, uh, if you can kind of give us the lowdown as far as schedule sure. wise. Sure. And, and once again, folks, it's, it's as easy as signing up. That's, that's all it takes, correct. am I correct? Um, you can register at pittstate.edu slash farms. It's free. We have great sponsors that have made point this that completely out. free. It's free, folks. Free. It's free. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, we start Thursday e or Wednesday evening, next Wednesday, the 23rd, um, at the Kansas Polymer Research Center with an evening reception. And then Thursday is the main bulk of the program where we bring, we want our farmers, ranchers, producers to come. And that's where they're going to meet all day with our researchers. And that will be in Parsons at the Southeast Research and Extension Center. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll end the day with a tour of uh, a livestock auction and a processing plant. Um, but that, that's the bulk day. And then Friday is going to be a half day for the scientists to get together and, and digest what they've listened, what they've learned. And like Mary said, I'm going to reiterate this, it is free, free. to attend. All you have to do 
is sign up. Doctor, I got a couple more questions that I want to ask you about how far you've seen polymers come from your expertise and where you see it going specifically in the agricultural area. Can I ask you and Mary to stick around? We'll come back and talk about that a little bit later. Absolutely. Of okay, we're going to come back uh, with Mary Laritz and Dr. Tim Dossey from the Kansas Polymer Center. Once again, all you have to do is go to pitchstate.edu slash farming. Farms. farms. Fa slash farms. Sign up is absolutely free. And Mary and Dr. Dossey are bringing in people from around the nation. We get a chance to show off a little bit then, too. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Bring, yes. your bring your questions and your solutions to this. We'll be back with more KOAM Morning News right after this. Gibson Bain and Tackle and Grove Convention and Tourism.